Hello everybody and welcome back. If you've been here before, hit the like and subscribe. If you've never been here before, you probably know Lake. <laughs> He's back visiting again. We're gonna get back into cylinders again. We're gonna get, you know, we're always talking about anything to do with friction, oil, technology, um, anything to do with the engine, automotive engine. I mean, we talk about anything else. Right, well, you know, horsepower is our thing. We all love horsepower, right? The whole reason for rebuilding and modifying something because you wanna go faster. How are you gonna go faster? Gotta make more power. And you know, cylinder finish is a big part of it. And as we talked about before, the, as you change the ring material, now that honing process has to adapt for it because those old rings, the Molly rings, they were soft, they were porous, they held their own oil. Mm -hmm. With the steel rings today, they're much harder, they last a lot longer, but they're not porous. They don't hold their own oil. So the way you hone the block needs to be different so you have the deep valleys. Now the cylinders are holding the oil. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, and I'm gonna tell you a little story. We just took one of my dad's old NASCAR engines. I've been sitting in the shop floor for almost 20 years. They made about 690 horsepower 20 years ago. Set for 20 years. Had a couple races on it. Put it back on the dyno and ran it. Made 480. We pulled it apart. We really couldn't find anything just glaringly wrong. Now, there was two cylinders that obviously had some water in it. The last time it raced, it overheated a little bit. So there was a little bit of something there. And you could see some rust in those cylinders. You could see a little bit of uh, that rust material had gotten up into the top ring and caused a little bit of micro welding. So it was definitely hurt. And we saw that in the blow by. Blow by was high and, and all that. We freshened it up. You know, New pistons, new rings, went from the old school ductile molly ring, 043 is, top ring. Mm -hmm. Wait, is it 043, 15, 2 millimeter, or 3 millimeter? Which, which is, is a lot smaller than, but because the NASCAR engine. I mean, yeah, that was yeah. state of the art NASCAR 20 years ago. So now we put in a 0.7 millimeter, 0.7 millimeter, 2 millimeter, which isn't even cutting edge NASCAR today. I mean, the, and the, that's thin. That's the credit card. That's, I mean, that's. That's thin. Well, let's say a 0.7 is 0.27. So we went from an 0.43 to an 0.27 ring. Billy Guy bolt at Comp did us a new, new cam. You know, John uh, Callies at Morell got us in the new Black Mamba Royal Lifters. You know, we went from, you know, a tie bar type lifter to these key, key, key lifters, key DLC bushing. I mean, they're, they're badass, actually. <laughs> they're really cool. So we did all that stuff. Put it back in the dyno uh, a few weeks ago made 780 so it's 300 horsepower that's a lot to, to, you know that's a lot when, when you're up in that in that realm people think well uh you know i can make there's it's a lot to make one horsepower it's a lot to make two ten maybe yeah 300 is like what what did you add nitrous i mean no that's the same engine the, same block same heads same manifold the, the, same the, cam or same, or same crank same rods I mean, we just did the cam, we did the home, we did these little things. It's kind of, yeah, everything in with the, the big pieces, the big iron, it's all the exact same. We just modernized it inside and picked it up 300. So here's the thing. Why are you ranting on about this and how does that relate to a cylinder home? Well, here's the deal. If we give all the valve train stuff and the, you know, putting a new valve job in it and all that kind of stuff, Let's say we give that the full 100 that it was better than it was brand new. Well, that means the ring seal was 200. We were down 200. Where, did, where, where, where was it? It wasn't sure because in, in the springs. We checked them all. They weren't weak. It wasn't, it wasn't anything else in the engine that was wrong other than the only we could tell for certain was the cylinder. It was the ring seal. We saw the blow-by. So you go from pegging the blow-by meter to the things not even moving. That was worth 200. Absolutely. 
But yeah, that's why we do these things. That's why, we, that's why I love coming down here and hanging out with you and making videos so we can help educate people because it's like, it's not just me saying it. No, it's just no, my it experience. And yeah. It's your experience too. And we've all seen it collectively. You know, from the Engine Performance Expo, you get the Mark Cronquist, the Keith Dortons of the world, the John Cozies and Scooter and Warren Johnson, all those guys. They're all saying the same story, right? That, that's the choir. I, and, I, and I like to listen because I, I, you know, you always want to learn something new. Undoubtedly, every time, just something as they're talking, you'll be like, yeah, I just, oh, yeah, I picked up something. You know, I oh, mean, there's there's there, there, there's so much. If you missed the, the expo, that's the beauty of it. You can go back, back and watch it yeah. at your own leisure, over and over again. Get, get to the part of they're talking about a brand new block. How, how do you, you know? How do you wash the brand new block? There's just so much. Like I said, there's stuff that you don't expect. It's it's the s simple ones that actually are like the. Mm, oh yeah. yeah. There's uh, little nuggets everywhere. Yes, right. Yeah. You just gotta pay attention. There's little nuggets that you're like, ooh, oh. Yeah. You, you start putting these together, and it becomes pretty neat. All right. Yeah. I think uh, um, I, I, I'm ready to play with the cylinder. Oh, let's uh, do it. Um, we, let's play with the cylinder. We're going to yeah. get re reorganized, reset up, and yeah. let's play with yeah. the cylinder. Yeah.